Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Super channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to get selected row column values in an interactive grid. For example, if you have created an interactive grid in Oracle Apex, and when you click any one of the row and you want to get the selected, uh, you want to get the values of the rows from the selected row, how you can get do this in Oracle Apex. That is what I'm going to show you. So before I start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. So one more useful information I would like to give you here. There's a one book on Oracle Visual Builder. It's again a low level um, development tool which helps you to build web and mobile application. If you need to learn <coughs> Visual Builder, you can buy this book which will help you to learn Oracle Visual Builder end to end. If you're interested, you can go to this link, https colon slash less pack dot live slash three mwsnr 7 which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. So now let's get started and see how we can get the uh, column value of a selected row. So this is my Apex application. Let me just create a page based on this report. And here I will select my interactive grid okay i will select the page number and will say the get selected okay that is what i'm going to do click on next button and here i am creating a new navigation entry with the same name click next and here you see you can choose the data source of your interactive grid whether it's a local REST enabled or REST data source. I'm going to use the local database. I'm going to disable this editing enabled means it will not allow you to edit the interactive grid means it will not allow you to give functionality like add, update, delete. So I'm disabling this, but if you want to enable it later, you can do this. Make sure source type is selected table, owner means the table uh, owner, and then table name, I can select the table from here like employee and then you can see whatever what all column you wanted to show you can show so i'm just taking all these column which will be visible on the grid click on a create button and the page will be created so now if you save and run the page will be open here let me just log in here sorry Okay, so here you see the interactive grid is here now. What I want, I, based on the selection, I want it to show the values like first name, last name in a, another field. Now what I want, this is my layout looks like. What I want, I want to create a new reason by selecting this content body, create reason and we'll say, Select it. So data. And in this reason, I am creating a page item by clicking on this reason and click on a create page item. And it will create a page item. And here I will say the full name. Okay. I will select this as a text field. Label is full name. That's fine. You now when I will select a particular row, I wanted to show the full name into this column, into this item. Okay, like first name, last name. Okay, so what I'm what I need to do, I need to create a dynamic action, click on this dynamic action, click, create dynamic action, either you can click, uh, right click on the click change or page load, we need to change uh, the identification here let's say row selection okay and we need to change the event we have a lot of events which we can use and for interactive grid specifically we have this uh selection change interactive grid okay and then selection type, I will choose the selection type as a reason 
and the reason will be my get selected row values. This is my reason. Okay. And then under true condition, click on this show. Okay. And I will use this execute JavaScript code, which will help me to get the first name, last name, or the complete data set of the selected row. So I have one little JavaScript code, which I am going to write here. Okay. And then expand it. So I have this JavaScript code. So this is very simple. I have created a variable called where full name. I'm just checking if this dot data not equals to null, then I'm getting the first row of the selection. This dot data dot selected row records zero not equals to null. And here model dot get value. Okay. This dot I need to get the model uh, model also. Okay. And model will be like this. Uh, model equals to this dot data dot model. Okay. And then model dot get value. This dot data dot selected row zero. And then first name is the name of the column plus model dot get value. This dot data dot selected row zero. Last name is the column name. And then I'm using this apex.item API and this will be my this will be my page item ID or the name you can see which is my p7 full name okay and then setting the this value okay and then I'm clicking on this and create another action which will refresh my reason selection type it will refresh my reason this selected raw data now save and run and we'll see what will happen now now here you see by default the first row will be selected and it will show you the data you see the second row data Okay, now if you want to disable the row selection on the load, what you can do, you can come back, you can select this get selected row values grid. And here we have <clears throat> one option. Not here, I guess. Yeah, okay, select this row selection. Okay. So if you don't want the default selection, you can select this interactive grid reason, go to this attribute and disable this select first row. Okay, save and then run. Now here you see, we don't have anything. So this is how you can fetch the row column values based on the selection of the row. So uh, that's all I have for this video, guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can always see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxsubber.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.